Tried your best to defend. Still can't stay with him? Oh my goodness. The defending, yeah, that, that face entitles it all. The defending in this game is absolutely atrocious if you're a sporting fan. It doesn't matter if you have, you know, one of the best players in Portugal and Bruno Fernandes on your team. When you can't defend, this is what happens. Well, wow, this game was a, a little unexpected. It wasn't a game I expected to, you know, actually be able to, you know, watch and enjoy. Obviously, there's two teams who have a really, really bad history together as, as two of the big three uh, in Portugal alongside Porto. Uh, but the Portugal Super Cup is always sort of a big festive occasion, along with the many, many uh, beginning cups that started this weekend, including uh, the Trophy des Champions that happened in France between PSG and Rennes, the DFB uh, Super Cup as well that happened between Dortmund and Bayern, which was won by Dortmund, uh, and then of course the Community Shield, which took place in England, uh, which happened between Manchester City and Liverpool, and this is just another one of the games uh, that is a huge, huge Super Cup uh, in their, you know, just national scene itself, uh, which is why we're going to take a look at the Benfica versus Sport Lisbon contest for the Portugal Super Cup. Uh, you guys gotta let me know your thoughts on the contest down in the comments below. How do you your feelings? You know, what are you thinking about uh, following the contest uh, itself? But yeah, we're, we're gonna get into the video and look at some of the best highlights, goals, skills, etc. Uh, from the Portugal Super Cup. As well, guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. Benfica, good ball over. <clears throat> Sir, you did not have to do this. This first off, that ball is beautiful. What is the defending? I mean, is the defender even looking in the air for it? Because I feel like that's a no. Uh, I think Benfica are doing just fine without Jao Felix. Now that I now that I think about it, um. Because this, just this whole sequence of play, look at, look at how many defense, they have a back five. Sporting are playing a back five. And they're getting caught in the air like that. Your back five is messing up if you're getting caught in the air like that. That's a beautiful goal though. That's a beautiful pass as well. This, that's just, it's all beautiful. All beautiful. Yeah, replay the pass. That pass is exquisite. It's, it's on the money as well. Like, there's nothing stopping that ball from going in. Goalies in no man's land. Yikes. Big yikes. Little tink. Right in the back of the net. Goal, I mean, goalie didn't even... He wasn't even low enough to it either. There was no way he was stopping that. Oh, you done messed up, kid. You done messed up. Why, why would you... You give the ball away that I don't know why you try to dribble right there when there's a defender right there. And you got the is, is that is that Matthew? The form, that's the former Barcelona defender, I think. Yeah, him giving up the ball right there is a terrible choice. Is that the third goal? The goalie actually got a hand to it, and he still didn't stop it. This game has just gone all wrong for Sporting. This has just gone as bad as it could possibly get. And this is all in the set. Well, three, two goals in the second half. It's just, it's just gone. Mad tits up. It's just done for. Good ball. Tried your best to defend. Still can't stay with him? Oh my goodness. The defending, yeah, that, that face entitles it all. The defending in this game is absolutely atrocious if you're a sporting fan. It doesn't matter if you have, you know, one of the best players in Portugal and Bruno Fernandes on your team. When you can't defend, this is what happens. Yikes. Yikes. Good thing this is just the Super Cup and not the actual league because this would just be a spanking. Maybe it's worse that it's the Super Cup and not the league. Oh, Doobie. That's Doobie. Yep, yeah, double, double yellow. What were you trying to do here? 
I mean, he stayed on his feet. I mean, I get why it's a yellow card, but if he stayed on his feet, that's not hugely bad. But I mean, he, he also had a couple of fouls before that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Shambolic. It's absolutely shambolic. Look at all those fans. The fans are so happy. If I'm the goalkeeper, I'm, I'm putting in a transfer request. The transfer window is still open in Europe. Uh, I would not want to deal with this ever. The defense for... How do you have a back five and you ship five goals? That, it, that, it just blows my mind. Wow. 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 Um, Sporting, you're going to have to think some things over because this, this defending, the defending in this game is just absolutely abysmal. I mean, I don't really know how else to explain it. Uh, Benfica are much the better side. They, they pretty much closed down every single alley that Bastos and Bruno Fernandes were trying to get to. Uh, and then the counterattack, Benfica, with their back five and all in a 5-4-1 formation, could not like stop it it just um you push the fullbacks that high and you push those midfielders high as well you're gonna leave so many gaps in the sort of alleyways and the alleyway of dreams is literally where Benfica were abusing sporting it, those through balls over the top uh just let them abuse them with pace and then go at a back five and or back three in this case uh who can't defend one-on-one -on -one for their lives. I, I mean, it's just atrocious. I, I don't know what Benfica were thinking. I don't know. Or not, rather, not Benfica. What Sporting were thinking, uh, whether their defending was just sort of not there, or whether they're, you know, still trying to pick up form after the summer break. But that's what you get. That's what you get. So, uh, five goals in the Portugal Super Cup. Congrats to Benfica. Congrats. Huge congrats because that it, it was amazing. It was, th this is and none of them were like super easy goals. They were all very very clinical. All pretty much just down to Sporting's lack of defense because that was yeah. Um, but yeah, you guys gotta let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on the Benfica Sporting Lisbon Super Portugal Super Cup. Obviously, Benfica fans, you're gonna be really really happy coming out of it. Uh, maybe have a little bit of uh, joy coming into the regular season when when Liga Nos finally gets back going again. Uh, that you know. The form is there. The team's form is there. The team is still really actively uh, able to win. So I'm, I'm looking forward to watching more of Liga Nos as well, and more, as well as watching just more of, of English, or not English leagues, the European top five leagues in general, plus some. So that includes the Russian Super League, uh, the, you know, the Belgium First Division, obviously the Eredivisie, and of course the Liga Nos, because it's going to be amazing. They always have great talent, always have great players there. So I'm looking forward to watching some more games. You guys have to let me know who you guys support down in the comments below. I feel like a lot of it's going to be Benfica fans, but still, still nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.